Let's start Final Fantasy. Evie, how lovely to see you. <laughs> her, her accent changes based on which location she's in. So if she's, if we see her in Limsa, she becomes a pirate. If you're not in too much of a rush, I was about to make a pot of tea. Would you like a cup? Would you like a cuppa? Cuppa. Take a seat then and I'll find us something to nibble on as well. What is this dancing flower? That's fantastic. That's fantastic. It's DJing, it's like... Oh, I had, I haven't wanted, or I haven't wanted to give a CV a chance to play that game because I heard it was super hard and she would be very frustrated. Oh yeah, I get frustrated a lot. It's so much quieter oh. these days without everyone around. Shh, talking. Oh, okay. Not that I'm pining for your return, you understand. I have my sources, and I know that each and every one of you is doing well and keeping busy with your endeavors. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm left with a surplus of free time and the question of how to make the most of it. What about you? Any plans for the immediate future? I think you nailed her accent. What you gonna do? Oh, grand new adventure, of course. Yeah, it's called Dawn Trail, Tataru. Get Obby. with it. Get with Duh. it. Duh. I'm sure we'll get to Dawn Trail in like a couple of months. <laughs> Traveling to the edge of existence and back wasn't enough? Well, if that's the case, I might have a suggestion for you. You fought bravely and selflessly. Helping those in need and saving our star from unimaginable threats. For your deeds, you've been hailed as the champion of Eorzea and a host of other incredible things. But why not put those titles aside for a while? Acquit yourself as a simple adventurer again and travel the world in search of wonder. You're right. Who knows what mysteries are still waiting to be discovered? True that. You know, like all those places that Emmett mentioned oh, while he was that's disappearing. The spirit. I can feel from here the blazing fire that just lit in your belly. Now, all you need is a destination. If you're having trouble deciding, just leave it to me. And Meridia, where the dragons go? Savne, mm. that's where you should go next. Oh, we've been there. I doubt you were able to squeeze in a proper tour of Rads at Han the last time you were there. That's true. But with the burning skies and rampaging monsters and so forth, and I'm sure Vritra would be pleased to see you. Then there's the bounty itself. The Empire's presence in the region was always a deterrent to exploration. So if you've a mind to sail that sea, now's your chance. Does that mean that the apocalypse weather Just is Just think done? of all the new experiences you could have. Is it no longer... Apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> uh. oh. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the bounty? Nailed it. Nailed it. As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. Oh, I know that look. That's an adventurer ready to take on the world. No longer the end In of the anticipation world. of an occasion like this, I was planning to gift you a new set of traveling clothes, but it's uh, still a work in progress. Progress. Shouldn't take much longer now, though, so sit tight and I'll have the last few bits sewn up before you can finish another cup of tea. Oh, that's very fast. You're the best. 
Oh, make sure it has pockets. Make sure it has pockets. The ladies always want their pockets. It's a thing. Did you know they make ladies' pants that have fake pockets? What is that insanity? It's real. And it's unfortunate. And like, what's the point? Oh, she's literally doing it in front of us. Stitching here and trimming there. Not the threads with love and care. <laughs> you love to tar it. Just a little more to go. I'm sure you're still brimming with excitement. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I run with the needle. See how the fabric surrenders to my whims. <laughs> Oh, Tataru. She's so precious. Uh, uh, Don't worry. Uh, I'll make sure the lining has plenty of pockets for all your little treasures. I swear adventurers are worse than children when it comes to hoarding every feather and leaf and animal hide they come across. You know I'm a looter. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There she goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, we mustn't forget the waterproofing. Gods forbid you forget to disrobe before plunging into the sea, or a river, or a piping hot bath. <laughs> this is true. That was literally me last week. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on here? Oh crap. I thought I thought Baldur's Gate was for later. Uh, <laughs> thought we were done with the end times. Never the end. We do deserve a nice nap. It's real. Oh, Xenos, he's back. Yeah. It does look a little Castlevania. -y. Is this Dracula? And this I am returned. Oh crap. See, I didn't think he was gone. Like, come on now, guy. He traveled the stars to come see us. Well, you see, that wasn't ominous at all. Look at that burger. Hello. Ah, you're awake. <laughs> She's just been staring at us while we sleep. Do we have a stiff neck sitting my in the chair? My apologies. I do get a little carried away with my sewing. You seem awfully cheerful. Pleasant dream? Or are you just looking forward to the next chapter of your grand saga? Either way, I promise to provide you with new apparel, and so I shall. If you'll accompany me to the Diamond Forge, we can put the finishing touches on your outfit. Shall we? We're smiling because we just saw that the world's gonna end again. And now we gotta save it. That's why. We've been given purpose again. Yeah. Yay. Here you go. And what may I do for you, my Eorzean friend? He's old. <laughs> oh, just a friendly chat. How about a drink? Well, I certainly wouldn't say no to a drink freely offered. He looks like a professor of sorts. Sounds like he is. Here we are. One, oh, this is the lady. Here we are. One of Mayride's finest. Enjoy. Ah, lovely. Bottles up. 
<laughs> Bottoms up. Bottoms up. I don't know if that Je- was the best accent. <laughs> Jolene empties the cup in a single pull. Oh, goodness. That was very kind of you, miss. But I know when I'm being sounded up. What is it that you want from me? What did you say? <laughs> sounded up. Yeah. Sounded up. Okay. Got me. Ugh, chasing down that old tail, are you? It does seem to appeal to the adventurers at heart. Now, where to begin? Might I assume you've heard of Alzadal? He was Khan of the Ari tribe, which sailed to Thavnir from the mainland, making a key figure in the history of Rata Khan. There's a long story, this one. Multiple cutscenes. His decision to aid the Arkasadara is what ultimately won them the war against the Gajasura, thus allowing our predecessors to lay the foundation for his striving city-state. The truly fascinating stories, however, concern his grandson, Al-Zadal III, who was known for his deeds as satrap in Razat Han's earlier days. Al-Zadal III. It's, isn't that what it says? Al-Zadal III. It's three. I mean, it's Al-Zadal E. <laughs> Al-Zadal III. <laughs> Some attest that this man traveled to another world entirely and returned with glittering riches. Others that he brokered an alliance with a certain firm of the first brood. And then there's the tale of the sunken vault, the one you seem most curious about. According to legend, Alzadal III claimed a small island somewhere in the middle of the mountain. There he built a structure reaching clear to the bottom of the sea, a deep and secret storehouse, and locked all his worldly wealth within. In the centuries since, whenever a natural disaster or hardship befell Radzat Han, folk would remember the tale of hidden treasure. Hardy souls would set out to claim their fortune, but precious few ever made it home. Do you look like that, Podrick? <laughs> Would you like to hear more? <laughs> Apologies. I have a slight tickling. Oh, my cup appears to be empty. <laughs> he sounds like, um. He sounds like Keanu Reeves. Oh, does he? <laughs> me, 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 Leo. Another round for the professor. Obviously. Ah, I see we've reached an understanding. You're a sharp one, adventurer. Another for the professor. Oh! Today was a splendid day to visit the main. Oh, it's a main, like a horse's main. A main. Jalene gulps down his newest drink with gusto. Where were we? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Those who did return from seeking the treasure vault refused. I mean, flatly refused to speak what, of what they saw. Did this incur, discourage others? Nay, <sighs> quite the opposite. Such accounts only served to feed the legend and the golden lure grew stronger than ever before. That reminds me of something. Azama was saying, Azama's a fellow connoisseur of spirituous potables. Yes, yes, he is. Anyway, he is saying that one of his acquaintances went after the treasure himself. Hasn't been since he set sail, I hear. But he did have a... Nah, I can't say anymore. 
You seem a generous sort. What kind of man would I be to encourage what is clearly a foolhardy quest? If my words sent you to your death, I could hardly never live with myself. I could never live with myself. <laughs> you know, for somebody who's never been drunk, like you sound kind of intoxicated. I'm just reading the words of intoxication. You're doing a good job of it. I am no stranger to peril. I am no stranger to peril. Oh, what's that song? Hello, peril. Is that so? Perhaps it's your turn to tell a tale then. What manner of dangers have you faced? I think that's the band Hello, Peril. Oh, yeah. The, the very edge of existence. For many, for many one else, I'd struggle to believe it, but I, I recognize you now. You're the hero of the final days. Your <laughs> hiccups are really good. I haven't had a hiccup in a while. A drink. I need another drink to settle my nerves. Melio, more of the same, if you please. Is he rich? But this one is on your coin, Professor. That's what she sounds like. Is it? Jaleel drains yet another cup dry. Uh-oh. He's shwasty faced I think he's been shwasty faced for a while. Anyway. You being who you are, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to hurt a little more. This friend of Azuma's, he was desperate to buy a treasure map. One which showed the way to the entrance of the vault. Seems he could only get it from some merchant. What is his name? Oh, shit. Bah, I forgot. Let's drink a toast to you, my new best friend. Really ill. More drinks. Signal for water instead. <laughs> oh, we got a wait. We gave her a wait. <laughs> Your drink, sir. Ah, marvelous. I am parched. Jaleel gulps down the cup of water. That, that was water. Did you tell her to bring me water? Still, that's uh, that's probably for the best. Very kind of you, really. My head will certainly thank you in the morning. Ugh, I seem to have overindulged. I am put in mind of the words of Master Zhaozhan. Be wary how much of the drink you swallow, lest to swallow you. Forgive me, I will subject you to no more of these unseemly, <clears throat> unseemly antics. If you want to speak with Azama, well, as I said, we share a taste of the main's fine spirits. He probably came in as we were talking. I wish you fortune in finding your fortune. You appear to have learned all that Jalin has to share regarding the undersea vault. To find out more, you will need to re to locate a man by the name of Azama. I'm just dancing with my Emmett. He is not amused. <laughs> Emmett is not amused. Is Sorry, that a I'm cello? just like vibing in the music. Oh, it's talky talky. Maybe. Roomba. Please, Sashal, please! You must let me have that treasure map! <laughs> Uh-oh. No. What's all this about? My mother and father were slaughtered by monsters. My baby sister, still too young to fend for herself. Can you spare us no kindness? Sir, 
You hope to find your fortune? And what? You expect me to surrender my wares for pity's sake? What have you to offer in payment? As I thought. Come back when you've more than rags to your name. Hmm. It's rude. <laughs> this is no mere treasure map. It is a guide to the vaults of Arzadal the Third, one of the great satraps of Radzat Han, and a direct <laughs> descendant of Alzadal Khan. He mispronounced it. He said Alzadal the Third. It's Alzadal Three. Right. He mispronounced it. Right. A map to Alzadal's legacy. <laughs> the kid's face. So he says. A fake I'd wager. This is no fake. The parchment is marked with an arcane glyph of passage. You may find the ruins hidden in the bounty, but you won't be setting foot inside without this in your possession. A priceless artifact it is, discovered amongst the rubble in the aftermath of the final days and lovingly restored by yours truly. This map is the key to fabulous riches. And I'll be the king of fools to simply give it away. Even to the guy who's Be glad saved I am no such king boy. Your scrawny eye did never return with that treasure alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cruel fate. Why must you tempt me with wealth I am powerless to claim? Very dramatic. So oh, dramatic. I should envy the one who purchases that precious map. Whatever they oh, they're will together. be, but pittance against the golden hordes they stand to uncover. They're yeah. they're uh, they're playing the crowd. Yeah. Yes, we've seen this in Vegas. Got it. Oh no. Oh what no. You, He's gonna fall for Thought it. Like a man of your statue would surely relish the challenge of recovering Alzadal's lost fortune. They'll fall for it. A fortune, you say? <laughs> He's very gullible when it comes to money. Is he? If I had but the strength to seize that treasure, my starving sister would never want for food. Oh no, he's gonna do it. I'll take it. Will this cover the price? Well met, my friend. Well met. He did it. He lost more money. Someone is dressed for adventure. I think they assumed that would be wearing of places. Anything. Knowing you, I suspect there's more to your plans than sightseeing and shopping. Ruins beneath the bounty. Curious. And here I've acquired a map to just such a site. <laughs> we saw. <laughs> we saw. With that sail, I do believe I've earned the rest of the day off. Thank you for your patronage, sir. But if you'll excuse me. You needn't mind us. And now I'll fleece one of the heroes of the final days. Pray the sisters were looking elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he knew exactly what he was doing. 
This map may or may not be genuine. Either way, we'll need a ship to find out for sure. Never took you for a treasure hunter. Lest you misunderstand, I seek the treasure not for myself. If such a fortune truly exists, then it could help ease the struggles of those who lost their loved ones in the final days. I hope to do for Thavnir what you and Alphano did for the Alamegans when you recovered the Mad King's trove. Hmm. Come now. You know Alphano needs little encouragement when it comes to recounting the tales of your shared exploits. What is it? Speaking about? of precocious lads, that boy in the bazaar was clearly an accomplice of the merchant. Suppose his role was to draw the attention of the crowd and add weight to the merchant's bold claims. Transparent act for the most part. It was not all mummery. The need to provide for his sister rang true enough. Hmm. Thus, if some portion of the profits end up in that waif's pockets, then I will consider it money well spent. Whether the map leads us to the vault or not. Hmm. Good guy, Estinian. Good guy, Estinian. You are coming along, yes? Otherwise, why would you be here? Silly. Look, look at how much shorter you are to him. To me, he's right in my eye line. Yeah. He's looking down at you. Naturally. Naturally. Avita. I thought as much. Really? Now, let's see about securing a vessel. I think it's your ears that make you tall, taller. Yeah. But I think headwise you're shorter. Oh. Is he listening to our convo? What is your name, boy? <laughs> Married, sir. Wait, boy. Call me Estinian. <laughs> ah, oh, it's a tough come, one. my good man. Would you be so kind as to? Isn't this a pleasant surprise? I wish you had sent word ahead. I thought I was having visions for a moment there. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> what are the two of you working on? Raha and I have been compiling old records of the students' activities. We were able to locate several accounts in the archives of Numenon, but the bulk of our documents was lost along with the Isle of Fal. Hmm. But what brings you to the Annex, my friend? Surely you haven't come all this way just to watch us shuffle dusty papers around? Oh, that's because she calls it the lost because you didn't do Eureka. Let me see if it's different on mine. Hold on. The treasure vault of Alzadal the Third. Don't press anything. Let's see if it's different on mine. Ah, would you be? It's me, guys. Ah, oh, isn't. I wish you had sent word ahead. I thought I was. Which one did you pick? The first one. Raha and I have been compiled. We located several accounts in the archives of Numenon, 
and added them to the collection we recovered from the Isle of Fowl. It is different. We recovered it. Hmm. Because I did Eureka. Hmm. So on yours, we lost it because you never did Eureka. Hmm. So the Isle of Val is Eureka. It's the thing that disappeared. Okay. So. Eureka was the hard one, right? Yeah, that's where I got my glowy. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. And you're looking for companions to join you on this expedition. Oh, I would dearly love to accompany you, of course, but I'm afraid I'm committed to another task. On the subject of which, I had hoped to ask for your assistance. <laughs> he's so... It looks like he's gonna fly up. <laughs> Then again, it's not so urgent that it can't wait until you've returned. <laughs> She's so tense. He's hoping he. You should she go, says Raha. Yes. I'll stay here and mind the shop, as it were. <laughs> Are you sure? I'd hate to leave you short-handed. <laughs> I'm sure. Just try to be back before too many moons have passed. Well. I guess we're off on another adventure already. <laughs> Have you asked anyone else to come along? Estinian. Then might I suggest we invite Yostola? Ever since the Scions disbanded, she spent most of her time cloistered within the Great Google Library hoping to piece together a method to traverse the rift. It would seem, however, that whatever wisdom she sought there was not to be found. She arrived in Charlian the other day. We spoke briefly before she began her search of Numenon. Numenon. What a cool name. Considering what you've told us of Alzadal's extraordinary feats, I do believe your Stola would be more than interested to hear what you have to say. Blend it. Then let us head to the archives at once. Wait, before you go. I have another potential member to volunteer, if you've room to spare. Uriange. Uriange. He sent the students a request for materials, you see. Treatises on the architecture of treasure vaults and the like. From what I can gather, the Loperits wish to build their own vault for the people of Atheris to explore, hmm. and are looking for inspiration to help make it a memorable experience. <laughs> <laughs> so, why not take Urianger with you? Let him study Alzadal's legacy firsthand. We're just building a team, aren't we? None can deny the benefit of seeing something with your own eyes. If our expedition leader has no objections, I say we extend Uriange an invitation once we've spoken with your Stola. Safe travels, you two. But don't forget, I'd still like your help with that other matter I mentioned. All right. Right. Then it's off to the library. Does it have something to do with painting? Because she becomes a pictomancer. See. Oh, she fell asleep. I've never known your Stola to doze off in the middle of research before. <laughs> she must have just been reading lots. Oh, you have a ring on.
This is what you. This is what I did when you were sleeping. When we found you in the gazebo, <laughs> we just let you sleep, and then you woke up. Mm, close my eyes for one moment. <laughs> Have you two been here? <laughs> it bent her ear and everything. Catching up on some light reading. <laughs> Something to that effect. I must have been studying for two, three days straight before exhaustion finally claimed me. God. It's a lot of studying. As you know, I've been researching ways to travel from the source to one of its reflections. Well, looking for hints, at least. I don't expect to find a simple set of instructions tucked away in some dark corner of the library. So I've been skimming through the stacks, hoping to uncover even a partial mention of any similar feats in the past. A means to travel between worlds exists, and you can be sure I will find a way to employ it. So I promised Runa, but twould seem I've set myself a nigh impossible task. Hold on. Mm. You needn't be so hard on yourself. It happens again, guys. Let's watch it again. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> we get to see it twice. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> The leap I made with the Crystal Tower was not achieved in an afternoon. It was the culmination of a collective effort spanning generations. <laughs> oh, you think me discouraged. I assure you, tis quite the opposite. A daunting challenge and the time to sink my teeth into it. I feel like a fresh-faced student again. A scholar in her element. Indeed. Was there something else you wished to ask of me? Come join our adventure. Alzadal is no minor figure in Harnish history, and much is known about his family. But this is the first I've heard of a descendant surviving a trip to another world. If those tales are true, then he may have left behind some clue as to how it was accomplished. An invitation to delve into one of the world's lingering mysteries, as if I could refuse. And whence do we embark upon this expedition? Akiali, by ship. But before that, we thought to extend an invitation to Urianje as well. He was in Thalmazane, last we heard. Thalmazane. Then by all means, let us recruit him and be on our way. Look at that mammoth. Mm, yeah. Look at that mammoth's hair. I know, right? So good. Are you awake now? You're awake now? I'm gonna press this button so it switches your camera. Ah, our illustrious champion. It is, it is. 
cloaked in the mantle of the common explorer, fame set aside in thy pursuit of simple adventure. I, I, Captain. I am told a new expedition is in the offing. Oriange looks like he has jaundice. That's messed up. His eyes are yellow. Oh. Tis good to see you as well. See, his eyes are and yellow. Thee. As ever, thou art the picture <laughs> of strength. You should get checked out. <laughs> You've been keeping yourself busy, I trust? True to our plan, Thancred and I embarked upon a pilgrimage of sorts, with an eye for gauging the state of those lands through which we passed. Oh, that's right, you do have his haircut too. Mm. Our travels were interrupted, however, by a request for aid from our beferred lunar allies. As you may recall, the Loperids had been seeking new purpose for the moon, another role through which it might serve to benefit mankind. The Forum hath been working to advise them in this endeavor, but I return to offer mine own counsel. And this has what to do with treasure vaults, exactly? Ah, you have learned of my predicament from Mistress Cry. I know not whence they acquired such knowledge, but the Loperids now stand convinced that adventurers delight in treasure hunts. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Thus, with their newly built wonderland of riches and mystery, do they hope to entice all manner of daring delvers to the moon. So earnest and innocent was their desire to bring joy to the world that I found myself powerless to refuse them my cooperation. <laughs> but what of you, my friends? Why are you come to Labyrinthos? Fascinating. This is indeed a most fortuitous opportunity. What? I should be honored to accept thine invitation. This is my Helldiver's victory pose. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been, I wonder, when last our actions were not impelled by fate or desperation? Mm. Uh, it's been a few expansions. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aye, though I cherish the Scion's accomplishments, it is pleasant to not have the weight of the world upon our shoulders for a change. Mm. Little do you know. Well... Counting Estinian, we number five now, yes? Without knowing what traps or perils await on wary feet, we may be wise to refrain from recruiting others. I agree. Between us, we should have the skills to handle whatever situation may arise. Shall we be on our way? Aye, aye, Captain. What, no aye, time to spare aye. a word uh, for the grizzled old bard? Uh, He's here, guys. He made it. We didn't have to find him. All is well, I trust. A wasted trip, I'm afraid. I'd hoped to catch up with a former mentor while you parleyed with the rabbits, but it seems our paths were not to cross. How was your pilgrimage? Uh-oh. Wrong button. Having an astrologian beside you on the road is surprisingly convenient. And it doesn't hurt that he's making strides with his light-hearted banter. In any case, as we made our way around Ilzabad, we saw that much of the continent was in various stages of chaos. A certain amount of disorder is to be expected. The final days are over, and the people no longer have a common threat binding them together. Yeah. You always need an alien to fight. That's the thing with these fledgling troubles, eh? 
You need to keep an eye out, lest they mature into full-grown headaches. <laughs> so, for what reason have so many esteemed personages seem fit to gather? <laughs> Let me explain for the sixth time, Tancred, since you weren't here. Beneath the waters of the bounty, you say? I see you've already stolen away my traveling partner with the promise of unexplored ruins and scholarly glory. Nay, it is not for mine own indulgence, but rather the fulfillment of my commitment to the Loperids. Ah, uh, of course. And if you have a Stinian rounding out your group, you'll likely have all the members you need. Except when the other two show up. Feeling left out? I could put in a good word for you, if you like. <laughs> We may have been released from our obligations, but I'll never be free of that merciless wit of yours. <laughs> In all seriousness, it is best I sit this one out. Too many former scions consorting with one another might be seen as a cause for concern in certain quarters. I'll return to my usual reconnaissance and scout out the situation in the Far East. Feel free to share if you come across any interesting revelations. Look at my Till cool we meet earrings. again. Did you see that? Mm -mm. They hang off on my Shall heart. we also hasten our departure? Celestinian mm -hmm. will wonder what hath become of us. He's gonna be like, I sent you to just get one person. <laughs> and you came back with a whole group of people. But are we pro enough for that? Ooh. I think the treasure is in the middle. <laughs> Haven't you heard of the healer strike? There's a healer strike. You're not supposed to heal in Dawn Trail. Why is there a healer strike? <laughs> what? How does that make any sense? <laughs> uh, the the healers have they felt like they're being slighted because nothing has changed oh there are certain tank classes that can that can survive without a healer <laughs> i am still uh very much appreciative of all the healers <laughs> so uh-oh i'm lagging you're la I'm lagging. Uh-oh, we're both lagging. Uh-oh! Guys! Guys! Thanks. I just realized that my stance wasn't on. I appreciate. What to say? I was like, man, I'm really not getting aggro. They, they just made this game so much harder after the- I think the I was getting a lot of aggro. It was pretty messed up that they could finish a whole dungeon without a healer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, th that's a complaint. They're like, well, why were we even necessary? But you know, if you enjoy healing, then you just heal. It's all right, guys. I think aside from like dungeon content anyways, the healers are necessary because you still need them for trials and all that stuff. You know, you know what healers do? They let me, they let me do dungeons without having to press all of my buttons because I forget all the time to do all of them. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Hello! We're using cell service for internet. Why is this thing following me? What is that? Uh oh. Uh oh. What is this mechanic? There's tentacles in the ground. Okay, I should probably pay attention now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I might die, I might die, I might die. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> I died. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll start doing my rotation now. <laughs> I was busy trying to read chat and look at your screen. I haven't been doing anything. Oh my gosh. There's a lot to pay attention to. Yeah. 
most of the time I can't focus on just mine. Uh oh, watch out, watch for the ground. Wherever the water is, don't be there when it hits. I, like I said, and I got hit. I probably have a debuff or something. You see, if you had a tank like me, then we would already be dead right now if we didn't have a healer. Just saying. <laughs> so healers are needed. <laughs> Cool. Cool. Glyph of passage detected. Confirming bearer's identity. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I got stabbed by a toenail. So. Sorry. Yeah, that lag is why we don't play competitively. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's the reason that's the why we don't play competitively. <laughs> Armored chariot. Don't be in front of the shieldy things. Okay, good assumption there. Gotcha. Don't be in front of the shieldy things. You are in front of the shieldy things. I died. You are in front of the shieldy things. Definitely died. After you said gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo. Shieldy thing is up again. Don't be in front of the eyeballs as well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, you both almost got it. That was the wrong place to be, let me tell you. Shit, sorry. Whoa. I died. You got you. This boss is pretty cool. I like it. This reminds me more of like um, in Aladdin before he, he meets the genie. In the what do you call it? The Br the the cave of wonders. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Mm. Don't touch any of the gold. Oh, Abu. You didn't see your hand. Ah. Oh, it looks kind of like Reggie Gigas. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Warning. This vault is under my protection. Failure to withdraw will invite... Chastis... Just chastisement. Don't be on the gnome zone? Oh, oh, hey! Hey, this isn't the thing! I know how to do this! No. I know how to do this because I did it on the, the Fall Guys event. That's right. <laughs> He's standing still again. He's doing something. Oh, there's rope hanging from the sky. He is grabbing onto one of the ropes. It's yellow. Don't be near a yellow rope. No. I'm on it. 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 Me too. Oh no! I was looking at your screen. I got stuck. Gosh! <laughs> I was looking at your screen. That was so silly. <laughs> okay, get away from the whatever color he's holding. Green. Get away from green. Be on yellow, I suppose. Oh. Get away from each other. Nice. Reggie Gigas. That was fun. Thanks for keeping us alive, Mr. Healer. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Nintendo. If you live together, don't raid together. <laughs> This is the lamp. What have we here? Tis not unlike a Hanish alchemical furnace in design. Well, there is one way we might find out. Stop! 
You mustn't touch it. Uh oh. Not even the lamp. Varshan. Fritra! Oh, my apologies. Should I continue calling you Varshan? You may address me as you wish. My nature is no longer a secret. Still, this is not a setting I imagined for our union. Sh uh oh. Would that we could deny your accusations, but I fear you're not far from the truth. Great Fritra, might we beseech thee to explain the nature of this strange contrivance? Oh, it's not a contrivance. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing at me? It smelled it's like contraband. It was crafted by our alchemists at my behest, for the purpose of sealing something away. Contraband. Sealing what? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't gonna touch it, but you know, you stole it. <laughs> Her face. You and I will speak later. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, no. Not the time for frivolity, my friend. Not the time. <laughs> This something of which thou speakest, might it be some manner of threat? Perhaps I should simply show you. Oh, cool. You guys can't touch it, but I can. Watch. The void. It's the eye of Sauron that has gotten infected. <laughs> I have lifted the seal, if only for the moment, by an authority only I possess. A plainer fisher. <laughs> How did you get that? No, my friend. Small though it may be, this is a functioning gate into the void. Yeah, we've been there. We've literally, we've literally been in it. That's where Nero almost got stuck. Oh, the things are open. You guys are listening to shh. I must admit, I am deathly curious to know how a void gate came to be hidden in the depths of these ruins. To tell that tale, we must first peer far to the south, speaking? and even further into memory. Back to heaven's word. He's too tiny to get into an anything. age five millennia past when the Algan Empire sent an invading force to the shores of Merasidia. The southern people rallied around the commanding figures of Bahamut and Tiamat and fought fiercely to repel the would be conquerors. With Bahamas defeat, oh. however, the tide turned against them. Desperate to seize any advantage, the Mercidians resorted to summoning primal entities. You know who these are? 
Mm-hmm. Okay, because we fought them before. Mm-hmm. That's the lady with the the balancing thing. Mm-hmm. Probably shouldn't point that. In response, oh. Emperor Zande forged a covenant with the Cloud of Darkness, sovereign among the all-devouring denizens of the Void. You remember the Cloud of Darkness, lady? We have her minion. See. Thus bolstered by icons on one side and void scent on the other, the two armies clashed in a battle of unspeakable carnage. So much death, so much loss. I consider myself well-versed in that period of history, yet you speak as one who witnessed it happen. Yeah, he's old. Indeed, I did. I heard Tiamat's roar of defiance and sped toward that war-torn land. Along with my sibling, Ashdaya. Ashdaya. Hmm. The other one we haven't we seen We dragons before. are not male or female, as men are wont to classify, but Elder Sister is the closest a mortal tongue can come to describing what she meant to me. Hmm. I was the last of our brood to hatch, and Ashdaya cared for me where my sire could not. Thus, I was with her when Tiamat roared. I was with her when she journeyed south, and I was with her when she fought against the void sent hordes. Wow. Does that mean she got stuck on the other side? Hmm. Yet no matter how many of their vile fiends we cast down, more rose from the abyss to take their place. Faced with an unwillable war of attrition, Ashdaya risked her all on a final gamble. She plunged through the void gate itself to strike at the root of their strength. I tried to follow in her wake, determined to lend what aid I could. But even as I came upon Alad's glittering tower, I saw the rift close behind her. Okay, that's good. And Ashdaya has been lost to us ever since. That means we're going back to the I rift. I find I must retract my earlier claim of historical knowledge. Nowhere in the Crystal Tower's archives did I see mention of such noble sacrifice. That does not surprise me. To Alagan eyes, it must have seemed as if a lone dragon, driven to madness, simply dove through the gate and did not return. For my part, I spent long years searching for the means to reunite with Ashdaya. Until I could search no more. Until Alag was dust. And the arts to open a void gate large enough to accommodate a dragon forever lost. The Lego is hungry and is crying. We must feed the Lego now. <laughs> I should add that into the bit system. Feed the Lego! I don't know if we should put that on to you guys, though, because then you'd get him fat. He's already kind of chunky. He's he's already a bit of a chunk along. He's over 10 pounds now. Is he over 10 pounds? He's not over 10 pounds, but he's a chunk along. <laughs> That's why we control Yet his... you have the beginnings of a gate right here, under the control of a harness device. Yeah, we control this food. My discovery came before Radzat Han was founded. Though I scoured the lands for a method to cross the rift, it was beneath the sea that I chanced to find a natural plane of fissure. 
It was, however, far too narrow to admit a worm's bulk. Only after our city rose upon the rock, and I could enlist the aid of our talented alchemists, did matters take a favorable turn. Their dedication was beyond reproach. Tirelessly, they worked to expand the fissure, and after decades of toil, it finally grew to a size that a child might pass through. Okay. So you can send your eye out. Not long ago, you told us that you called out to your kin, that Ashdaya's answer was silence. I suspect the conclusion to your tale is not a joyful one. With hope in my heart, I used a simulacrum to cross the threshold. But no, I did not find her. What I found was a host of void scent clamoring around the opening they had sensed. It was but a moment, but enough. I had no choice but to retreat and allow the portal to contract once more. The gate was a threat to your people. You had to decide between endangering Razad Han and abandoning your sister. And you chose the latter. It was not that thy siblings scorned thy call. It was that she was trapped beyond a barrier through which neither roar nor dragon may pass. Even now, in the desolate world of the Thirteenth. I can scarce imagine your pain, yet it was wise not to linger in that place. Too long a sojourn, and even a being of your power risks being warped into a creature of the Void. You've seen this phenomenon before, when we stepped into the darkness. Yeah, we did. We started getting our emo. <laughs> uh, see, <laughs> I remember when Nero turned purple. Because I do. That's what I keep referencing. And then Sid saved him from, from the light. Or, saved him from the darkness. <laughs> Turned purple? Well, yes. His wounds had allowed the Void's corruption <laughs> to enter his body and twist his ether. Had it been allowed to progress much longer, I presume he would have been fully transformed. Then there is little hope for Ashdaya. I don't know about that. Ah, no. I hadn't meant to. I speak only of possibilities. The scales of the first brood are extraordinarily resistant to ethereal fluctuations. They are the protective talisman's core components, after all, and even the corruption I described would struggle to overcome. Of course. With the warding scale in one's possession, one could conceivably survive a stay in the 13th without being warped by its energies. Be that as it may, it is too late to rescue my sister. Five thousand years too late. How do you know time passes by in the same rate over there than it does here? And now countless others look to me for guidance and protection. I shall go in there. So when I sensed intruders in the ruins, I came only to ensure that the gate remained closed. That, and to secure the treasure, of course. I wish only to forget the rest. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Oh, Zenos, what have you done? Where have you gone? 
He's got a th oh, it's a throne. Is it Zande's throne? shoulder pads. Throne of Earth. I sensed the breaching of a gate, but it was not instigated from this side. It was thrown open from the other. I too felt it. A rare occurrence, yes. But such a tiny portal is beneath our notice. There are more pressing matters at hand. An opportunity is upon us, the coming of which we have waited for nigh on 10,000 years. We dare not let it slip our grasp. Yet we must not underestimate she who bested the cloud of darkness. Even restrained by a covenant, the cloud was no feeble wisp to be dispersed by some flesh and blood mortal. That was us. Bah, let her come. I will drown the world and watch this fleshling gasp for breath in her final moments. Your zeal is admirable, but forget not our cause. Think back on our struggles beneath this sunless sky. Remember why we see not our will to fight. This time we set the war in motion and win redemption for our star. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's their star? Uh oh. What do we do? Do we human again and take uh -oh. over other people's stars? Well. Since you've made it this far, you might as well just sit here and uh, watch this log burn with me. Isn't it nice? So calm. Soothing. If there's a video that pops up here, you might as well click on it. Or you could just watch this fire with me. Till next time. Hit that like or subscribe if you want. Or just watch this fire burn. It's very nice. It's a really nice fire. Look at how slow it burns. Wow.